Member for Delta South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, I would like to talk about a very special and dedicated group of volunteers with the Delta Hospital Auxiliary Society. Soon after the hospital was built in 1980, the hospital auxiliary opened a gift shop and cafe inside the hospital alongside an incredibly successful and popular thrift shop in Ladner Village. Thanks to the generosity of many in our community, the society has done so well that they have now owned one of the largest storefronts in Ladner Village. Thousands of volunteers have done their part over many decades and currently 450 volunteers remain actively involved with the society. These volunteers work tirelessly to ensure our community benefits from funding for new equipment, programs, recreational therapy, and student bursaries. In addition, the Society recently contributed just over $2 million towards the construction and administration of the Peter C. and Elizabeth Toygo Diagnostic Centre at Delta Hospital. This contribution is just one of over $22 million the Society has donated towards new services and equipment at our hospital. On a personal note, I am incredibly proud of my family's close affiliation with the Delta Hospital and Auxiliary Society. It started with my father, who was an original member of the team that helped build community support for the construction of our own local hospital. My sister, Glenda, was also a registered nurse at the Delta Hospital for many years, and my wife, Pam, is the vice chair of the Delta Hospital Foundation. Most importantly, this brings me to my mother, Marjorie, who was an originally society, original society member from 1969 and continued pre-COVID, of course, to drive into Ladner twice a week to volunteer at the thrift shop and at the hospital's extended care ward. Like many societies across BC, COVID-19 has posed unprecedented challenges to the auxiliary society. To make matters worse, a suspicious fire in December has left them on the hook for restoration fees and renovations to fix this damage. Yet Ingenuity has them temporarily back up and running in a vacant storefront across the street from the damaged building. Despite what can only be described as a trying time, I want to sincerely congratulate the tremendous efforts of our Delta Hospital Auxiliary Society, our Delta Hospital Foundation, as well as our outstanding doctors, nurses, and staff at our beloved Delta Hospital. Our community is appreciative of Thank all you, you do to provide excellent care and service to those who need it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.